This is the moment we've been preparing for. All throughout the last week, we've been getting all of our melee weapons dark aether, and they finally dropped the mace. I even have a bat video already recorded, ready to be edited, but then they went ahead and just threw this update at us out of nowhere. As you can see right here, the mace is in the game, and to unlock it, we need to use the melee weapon to kill 50 special or elite enemies that are taunted by your frenzied guard. Honestly, not that bad of a challenge. But we're gonna go ahead and grind it out. Ooh, that was hard work. All right, we now have the mace unlocked. Oh, it looks like it came with a few other things. So let's go ahead and throw the mace onto our class and let's check out its challenges. 750 kills, basic. 50 kills while stunned. 750 while pack a punched. Ring of fire or aether shroud. 10 special or elite eliminations. 10 kills rapidly. And our jackrabbit kills. Also, why does it look like this? It literally only shows the handle. You don't even get to see the whole top part of it. But we're gonna do what we've been doing all week and go ahead and get this mace dark aether. All right, this is what the mystic scepter bundle looks like in game. Here is the mace. How do I turn off my flashlight? There we go. It has a little glow effect. A nice little, nice little thing in the middle there. And the inspect is actually pretty cool on this. Unlike the bat, you can actually see most of this weapon. What I just realized is we have no levels on it, so it's gonna be so it's gonna be like close to impossible to get this dark aether in the first game. I think I might have to take this into multiplayer first. All right, we're back. I had to get it fully leveled up and I had to go ahead and get dark matter on it really quick. So if you guys want to see that, there'll probably be a video up before this or soon after this. I'm not sure what order I'm putting it up in yet, but we still have every single zombies camo to get for it. So hopefully we'll be able to get all of them in one game. I'm sure we can with all of this melee practice we've done, but I'm still going to stick with ring of fire. I would have dark matter on it, but I don't think we'll get to see the pack a punch camos or anything on it, but I did end up unlocking the actual weapon. So we don't have to use the blueprint. I think it might mess up the pack a punch camos a little bit. Oh, actually, I don't know. Should I use it? It is really wonky in the gunsmith. Whatever, I bought the blueprint, we're gonna use it. Hopefully it still lets the pack a punch camos go on it, but we have a lot of camos to get for it, so let's go ahead and hop in. All right, here we go, finally our first official game with the mace, and we already got our first kill, so we have to get Dark Aether this game. Now the swing speed isn't too bad. Hopefully it won't be a problem in zombies. I don't think it will be considering, if we can get like the sledgehammer Dark Aether, I think we can get any melee weapon Dark Aether. But I have an idea. Now I know I need Ring of Fire kills and all that, but I'm gonna start with Toxic Growth. So that way, you know, if you guys have seen my other melee weapon videos, we've been doing this strat where we go up by Wonder Fizz with Toxic Growth and just cover off the spawns. So this whole time, these first few rounds where we're doing nothing, but just you know getting kills we're gonna be also getting our field upgrade getting toxic growth ready so by the time we get to wonder fizz we can just set up there and then switch to our ring of fire and just rack up all types of camos oh max ammo thank god all right i think we have enough to go across the zip line let's pop this door open grab our loose change please lay down thank you and now we're at the cheese spot the early round cheese spot that's one jackrabbit metal 879 to go bring it here slapped him Bonked him, binked him, 360, bopped him. Ooh, oh, they're climbing up here fast now. No problem now. Ooh, our first camo and it's a jackrabbit camo. So we really have not been hit one single time yet. And there is our stroke camo. First few camos already done. There's another jackrabbit and another one. We're milking these. And we're already at two toxic growths. Oh, and another camo. What is that? There was no nuke there. Why did that go off? Ooh, look at this guy. He's dripped out. Got the fit from Macy's. Ah, ah, get it? Macy's? This is what happens when you just sit here playing zombies. Brain goes to mush. All right, let's go get power on. There's our Tempest, pal. Come here. How does the Mace do against the Tempest? Pretty decent. That was a four shot though. I think a few other melee weapons have been three shot. Either that or I just have zero memory of anything, which could be possible. Oh, cross faster, please. We'll grab that loose change. I just made Samuel cringe by opening that door. All right, where's our other Tempest pal? There he is. Come here, buddy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Just make kill you. Oh, and we got a camo for it. Get, hey, hey, get off me. We got our power on. We can go ahead and head up our rope. Hold on. Got him. Klaus, what's up? Get teabagged. All right, let's start out the pack-a-punch machine. I'm gonna try to hit him right after it. I know he flies away, but I'm trying to catch him. I looked away right as he did it. <laughs> All right, disciple's gone. Everybody die, please. Please don't knock me. Thank you. I'll take that armor. 
And now let's see what this thing looks like Pack-a-Punch. Also add Shatter Blast to it. Okay, this is what the mace with the blueprint looks like Pack-a-Punch. It honestly fits the blueprint so well. The green going in with this, this little blue here. I don't see any of the red though. Well, I guess there's a little bit right under the, the tippy tip. You know what I'm talking about? But <laughs> I, I'm so fucking stupid. But maybe the red is on the handle and we just can't see it. But overall, it still looks pretty good. All right, let's try to take these guys out. Ooh, Shatter Blast. Get him. Ooh, Glacier Camo. So we're at 125 kills, basically, as we got Pack-a-Punch. So we're going to be that many behind. But we also need to start getting these stun kills. Can't forget about these. So let's toss that out. There we go. Pick up another stun. All right, now let's go set up here by Wonderfizz. Grab the loose change first. Come on. Come on. There we go. Then we're going to put one here. One here. And on the third placement, I never really know where to put it. But I think on these early rounds, I'll put it right here. Just in case any get through. And then I can just sit right here and relax. Oh, no. They're getting up. No. Don't hit me. There we go. Another Jackrabbit camo. Ooh, and a Gunrunner camo. And a max ammo? We're going hard right now. And this thing's swing animations are pretty nice, too. There's a little poke right there. You get a big over-the-head swing, and then the swing from the side. It's like almost an uppercut. I think my favorite is the poke, though. Especially with this one, where it's got that that sharp tip. I gotta stop talking about tips. But while we're here, let's grab Jug and Stamina and Quick Revive, the Power 3. All right, come on in. Oh, we just got a Jackrabbit medal right there. And we took out that Panzer super easy. Come on up. Go ahead. Oh, oh, you almost made it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, goodbye. Back down to the first floor. Okay, I know I should be upgrading my weapon or getting another armor upgrade or something, but I'm gonna buy stuns. Because in this spot here, you get no salvage. Like, almost none. Oh, Disciple. Yeah, you better fly down. Oh, our toxic growth went away. Good thing we already have another one ready. Oh, Disciple. Why you gotta ruin the party? I just started playing the Mule Kick song, so I think I'll just buy it. Just for when we actually need to start using our stuns, we have it. Ooh, Glitch Camo. We're close to getting done with our Juggernaut. I said Juggernaut. We're close to getting done with our Jackrabbit kills. Brain goes to mush when I play zombies. I completely forgot to change my field upgrade. I guess next time one breaks, I'll put it. I'll put another one down, and then I'm switching to Ring of Fire. There we go. There's another camo. Okay, now we can put this down. Go ahead. Go down. Ooh, zebra camo. All right, I guess I can put another one down right here. Actually, can I put it down right here? Come on. Oh, perfect. I mean, not perfect, actually. Okay, so I put this down first. This down most recently. So this one's gonna go if I place down another so i'll wait till i have enough for this one set it here and then switching to ring of fire and we'll be perfectly set up but i think we are really close to getting these jackrabbit kills done so it shouldn't matter too much oh there we go all right we have one i'm putting it down come on go ahead go down go ahead no it's okay i swear there we go now we go ahead change this to ring of fire and we're all set but so far, 369 kills, shout out sex. 173 critical kills. I still don't understand how critical kills count for melee weapons. But we have almost all of our jackrabbit kills done. And I think that's the most important one to do. Panzer, get out of here. No, you're not supposed to be here. I hate you. Gotta kill him to get up, unfortunately. So we have to buy that back. And now we're back to doing this. It's tough work out here. Ooh, getting even more camos. This is honestly so cheese. Like, this is not fair for them. Oh, I just realized we have 22,000. I'm gonna go get this pack of punch too after this round. Oh, we lost one. There goes our toxic growth. 250 kills with it. We lost another toxic growth. Our defenses are falling. But this is perfect. We can stun. Start working on these kills. Oh, even more. Go ahead and pop the ring of fire. Can I swing, please? Oh my god. Pop the stun, please. I didn't throw it. I fell. Oh my, I almost died twice there within seconds of each other. That is ridiculous. The second the toxic growth goes, I go. All right, heading back up. We might not be able to pack a punch next round. Actually, it shouldn't cost us too much to buy these back. This is what it looks like with a pack punch two camo. Honestly, it, I think it looks even better than the first one, at least for this weapon. Because here with the blueprint on it, it just looks amazing. It feels like it really fits into it. So let's get these guys stunned. I'm going to pop a ring of fire and I'm going to try to get as much camo progress here as I can. So let's do this stun. Ring of fire. Give it a second. Why did it switch? Okay. Stunning again. Ooh, hit the shatter blast on him. That was weird. I don't know why I, I threw out the ring of fire and the stun and it made me switch weapons. It just pulled out the fist. All right. Stunning now. Please shatter blast. Please help me out. There we go. Let's do another one. Perfect. I mean, we just need to do that 30 more times. Honestly, it sounds like a lot, but it, the stun ones aren't that bad. It's just finding the stuns and finding the opportunity to use them. But we might as well just knock it out if we can. Can we afford them? We can't. What? Give me salvage. Ooh. 
flew right in just to dome him. All right, now I can ring a fire. I got to do it early though, because it takes forever to be able to swing after you do it. So I'm gonna do it right here, right about now. Now I can swing. Ooh, Shatter Blast, perfect. All right, there we go. Oh, a little crawler buddy gone. We're doing pretty well on these camos. I think we're pretty decently far into it. I did not mean to buy the stim. No. Okay. Now we can buy one and it gave us two. Thank you. Ooh, bloodshed camo. And we only need 250 more normal kills with it and it's done. All right. Let's just go ahead and stun these guys. Oh, bad idea. Bad idea. So hurt. This panzer needs to go. Can I nade him? Did I get him? Nope. There we go. A little shatter blast action. Let's try to lead him into it. Was that it? Did I get him? Panzer, hello? Oh my god, why are you still alive? Knock that off. These panzers are no joke. Hold on, let's go up here and just blast that ring of fire. Where's he at? Oh, he's about to jump. Do it now. Got him. Okay, zombies, go ahead and climb up, please. Please, a little faster. A little faster, gentlemen. Ooh, shatter blast on him. Let's go, got the Funkadelic. Perfect. It was looking a little rocky there, but we, we got out of it. Wait a minute, this staff kind of looks like the origin staff now this is coming from somebody who hasn't gotten past like round 15 on black ops 2 origins but it kind of gives me that vibe come here who do you think you are standing above everybody go to bed all right zombies get stunned i'm dead have i died so many times oh come on how are you gonna gas up the crawler you know what oh you're lucky all right i just need to use the self-revive no way i'm getting up none of these zombies are getting near me Grab Mule Kick back, grab Elemental this time, and we'll get our speed, our stamina up back. Okay, we have our full ring of fire and we have a stun on us. I need to go grab this salvage before it disappears. That way we can buy our self revive back. Now here's what we're gonna do. Kill this Disciple first and foremost. Ooh, Shatter Blast got a nice hit there. I went down again and I don't have a self revive to save me. There we go. I need to go get my quick revive back. I've already went down four times. No, 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 not again. I don't have any money to get myself back. I'm struggling here. All right, we have our self revive back. We have a little bit of a cushion. Dang, we're not gonna get back a bunch three for a few more rounds here, I guess. All right, huge group, let's stun. Stun again to be sure. Hit the ring of fire, one more stun. And now give me Shatter Blast. Let's go. That's gotta be, no camos from that? Or am I still just getting medals from that? There we go. The Boutique camo, the Maniac camo, or the Manic. Jeez, I can't read. But very good progress on that. All right, let's do that same thing here. We don't have a Ring of Fire, but we can get some stun kills going. All right, stunning. Come on, Shatter Blast. Come on. Help me out. There it is. They weren't stunned anymore though, but hey, we take that. A Dredge camo? Sure. I still can't upgrade the armor. I feel like upgrading the mace is like does not do anything, so I'm really not trying to do it. Dude, I love the zombies little like stutter step where you just sprint a little bit. It looks so clean. It looks like you know what you're doing, but it's literally just trying to stop yourself from sprinting constantly and messing up the train. Well, it's done here. Toss that out. Oh, these guys didn't get stunned. I got to stun again. Oh, stun again. Oh, we got to insta kill at the worst time because that ring of fire just melted everyone. Disciple, go away. No, 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 no. You're not running away. When I meant go away, I meant like go away and die. Okay, I gotta be really close to this final stun camo. Should get it right here. Come on, Shatter Blast, help me out here. Oh, it always procs when I'm done. Oh, I guess we still got the camo, so it doesn't matter. But I'm starting to think Ring of Fire is not it, especially this late into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to Aether Shroud. And maybe we can just stun him and go for it there. Because I know every time you proc Aether Shroud or you start it up, the zombies run away from you. So we gotta stun them in place, hold them there, and then kill them with Aether Shroud. I think that'll work better. Oh, also, I don't know why I always notice this so late, but the Pack-a-Punch camo name, or at least the Pack-a-Punch name for this weapon is Crunch Time. I always like those nice little touches. Because I don't feel like I'm not, not a lot of people notice the, the change in names. Like, at, at least in this game. All right, now we can get armor level two and three. We're all set now. Are these zombies two hit? Okay, maybe I do need to upgrade this. This is the first time I've ever seen a melee weapon be a two hit this late, but also I have not upgraded it at all. All right, let's do this. Stun, Aether Shroud, stun again. Please Shatter Blast, stun one more time. Everybody stay still. Oh my God, they're not staying still. Can I try to sneak uh, uh, upgrade in? Let's try it. Okay, let's get it green. That's all we can do. Okay, where's this Panzer at though? There he is. Stuck him that time. Get him with another one. One more. One more hit. Oh, what? How is he still alive? Oh, I have 34,000. Maybe I should get Pack-a-Punch 3. Maybe that'll help. Let's Aether Shroud for this last bit here. 
He just flew away from me. Come on, dude. Let me get the kill. Oh, you want to fight me like a man? There you go. Okay, let's grab pack a punch three. Where's this last zombie at? So I don't get ambushed. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to show up. All right, and, and this is what pack a punch three looks like. There's our buddy. Really nice, actually. I'm the pack a punch three. I don't like it as much as I like the other pack a punch cameras, but it's definitely growing on me. This like pissed yellow that comes into it. Not a big fan of, but when the purple comes in. Oh, uh, wait, actually, why is the staff looking veiny? I gotta stop. All right, it's one shot now. We're, we're back in business. Now let me just train these guys up a little bit. Hopefully I can hit like a Shatter Blast and it'll give me my Aether Shroud. Oh, there we go. There's Rotten Camo. So we're done with all of our normal kills. We got to be close behind and pack a punch. I think we're done with Jackrabbit and the stun kills. We might need our rapid kills though, which could be a problem because I, I feel like that challenge is really bugged the, the way it works or the way it tracks. But this Mangler's messing up the whole thing. That would have been like 80,000 kills. Okay, this Mangler's got to go. Where you at? Oh, of course, he's right in the middle. Max ammo, perfect, we're saved. Oh, I don't have elemental pop. I need to go buy that back. There we go. Ooh, nice shatter blast. I was wondering why I was getting no other effects here. We did not have elemental pop that whole time. Is there a decoy or anything on the ground? No, we can buy one though. No, we can't actually. Well, let's Aether Shroud. Ooh, shatter blast, perfect. I have no idea how many kills we need to get while an Aether Shroud or ring of fire or frost blast i always forget to look at the actual numbers or at least i forget to remember them well i guess since they're all down here why don't we climb on up and do our little cheesy strat make sure nothing's spawning up here first all right shatter blast please oh ask and you shall receive all right we can aether shroud up here get them while they're going down should only be a few more rounds here. I think we actually got everything done really fast. Doing these melee weapons all this week really helped me figure out the best ways to get these challenges done. All right, Shatter Blast, please. Oh, perfect. Oh, not that perfect, but timed it perfectly, I guess. Oh, is this a stun? We'll take that. Pop that bad boy out. Oh, we have Aether Shroud, but we're down. We might have to use our self-revive. I think I'll just use it. We can just go right back up and buy another. Oh, uh, well, I guess we'll get it done the round. This is crazy right now. Aether Shroud, get him. Talk to him, Aether Shroud. Why are you climbing up there? Nothing's up there for you. Go ahead, jump back down. Okay, perfect. Come on. Shatter Blast. Oh, we got Gold Viper. Oh, hit the zip line, please. Let's go. We actually got everything done before pack a bunch. That's the first time I've done that on a melee weapon. I was not expecting to get it that soon. I knew we were getting close, but I thought we were gonna get it by like what, round 35 or something? Either way, we'll, we'll take that. I guess we'll let these guys take us out because I am not waiting for the next exfil and I'm not risking backing out because I still want my XP. I guess we can melee while we're down here. We'll go as hard as we can with this thing and playing as reckless as we can. We're actually too good. I'm gonna let this last guy get me. You earned it, pal. 1100 kills, not bad. We did die seven times. I guess the last one doesn't really count or last two. So let's go with five downs, 27 rounds, and getting Dark Aether in a single game on this mace. That's that's pretty good. All right, this is what the mace looks like with Gold Viper. Still awful. I, I don't understand why they even bothered putting the cam on the game. But this is what it looks like with Plague Diamond. Very, very nice. And Dark Aether looks sick on it. So let's go ahead and equip that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hop into a game and we're going to look at Dark Aether on both this version of it and the Blueprint version. And we'll see how it looks there. All right, this is what the mace looks like with Dark Aether. Now this is the mace without the Blueprint. And it looks amazing. I really like the inspect animation on it. You really get to see the entire weapon. I guess except really the handle your character will even twist it towards the top. I really got to stop <laughs> I really do but you do get to see you know multiple angles of the top piece of the mace The whole handle even gets the camo or at least the whole bar leading to the handle looks really nice Now let's look at the blueprint version of it This is what the blueprint version of it looks like with dark aether and honestly, it's still really good Even the little <laughs> the green veins on it kind of it works with it. It, it really does it It's a really nice looking weapon I'm, I'm gonna be honest as a blueprint the shape of it perfect it it fits the weapon so well but i think that's where i'm gonna end this video here uh, i played a lot of zombies a lot of multiplayer today so if you haven't seen me get it dark matter that video should be up soon if not already up but if you guys like this video and want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of content throughout the week and that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later